Okay guys, back with part 2 here and um, we're going to get into the keyframing of the picture rule and we're just going to take our ruler line where we had it and we're just going to let's move it up a little bit and then add our picture rule and snap it to that kind of the same concept of why we did the other thing and then we don't really need the ruler anymore I guess we could use it later on so I'll just keep it there and what we need to do now is keyframe the finger movement with the picture so I'm going to go ahead here let's go to where he clicks it and, uh, he already scrolled it let's go back more let's go back to 66 Okay, so that's when he was opening it and actually let's go ahead and keyframe the pictures first because they need to kind of pop in after this is open we can also create a loading bar later on but uh, we don't need to do that right now I've noticed this picture is upside down uh, not a big deal so <laughs> anyways um, so yeah next step making them appear so at about let's go back five frames one two three four five and we want them to appear probably right about here so open up your pictures go to transform and go down to opacity uh, click the keyframe have it at zero and we're going to and actually undo that and we want to have the opacity so that it's kind of uh, see-through-ish uh, but not just enough so that you can still see it actually happening so we just let that render out looks good so we only want it to go to a max of 80 about 80 percent so we're gonna keyframe it at zero move ahead two frames or one doesn't matter it's gonna blink in anyways and just set this to 80 and so now when we play it through uh, I'll come back play it through okay guys it's uh, pre-rendered and uh, we'll just take a look at it here uh, the solid I realize is still a bit uh, slow and so we need to go and change those after this but we just play it through here. See the pictures pop up after the window is open, and that looks good. But yet, the solid here, the mask, is yet to be perfect. So we're just gonna drag that in a couple, like right here. Okay, looks good. So let's just go back up, and our next step is to uh, make the pretty much the hand motion or the rolling of the pictures you can say and that looks good so we're gonna find the keyframe to where it looks like it's he's touching and sliding so go back right here that looks good we're gonna move these all over oops wrong one uh, we're just gonna move these over right about here just because it needs to look like it's touching it and pretty much uh, we're just gonna change the position on this picture and last time I had it all the pictures I didn't have this uh, nice pre -com uh, compose thing and, oh my god you had to go under all the transforms and keyframe and all that's why I learned this for you guys so that you could use this and uh, you think so make sure that the pictures are really small you can size them up later if they're too small they get cut off with the pre-compose for some reason say if they're hanging off right here they'd be completely gone they would not be there they'd be cut off so make sure they're small you can resize them and it's okay so now we only have to keyframe one thing so just go to the transform and we're gonna go to position and right here we want to keyframe it where it's at so keyframe that and then we're gonna go to where he ends it which is probably 
perfect right there. And we want to, I like to use a slider so I don't mess up the horizontal movement. Just slide this in a little bit. Doesn't matter where you put it, it's all gonna look really good anyways. And so now we're gonna go in and do our second thing. And right. Okay. Back right here. He does it again. So now uh, we need to uh, add a new keyframe so pretty much just uh, right click on position add keyframe that will make a new keyframe from where it was last time go to where he ends his slide and this one's pretty quick so we're gonna make it ha cover a little bit more ground since he did a little bit more of a, a faster flick so we're just gonna keyframe this again and we're gonna make it a drastic change you're like right there and that looks good go to a second click there's third slide I mean sorry guys this tutorial is very long but it's worth it in the end you can make your own technology out of it and I'll probably be doing more heads up display tutorials how to make cool displays and uh, not this crappy looking computer thing Anyways, uh, that's probably right it right about there. So go to position, edit, uh, add a keyframe. Now looks good. And go where he ends his finger slide. And that's and you see that the brightness uh, kind of went up here. Uh, that's just because of his uh, webcam autofocuses, and it's kind of stupid. But uh, anyways. Right about there. Uh, we're just gonna make it go a little bit more. Let's go right here, uh, just because I know that his finger, where it's gonna touch, and it's gonna touch about right here on this photo right here. So now I'm gonna pre-render it and come back and show you guys. Hey guys, back and it is rendered out and um, I don't know why my Adobe After Effects does this but maybe you guys might be able to tell me. But it only renders so far but uh, it didn't get the third roll in but you can kind of see what it looks like so let's go ahead and play it. looks good uh, I probably wanna go in and change the scaling again but anyways that's the roll part and now it's time to add the click at the end here actually I'm gonna go back under here real quick and change this cancel here okay so now he clicks on it, or actually, um, we need to go under our picture roll, make it 3D, and see if the rotation will cooperate, because I haven't done it with the pre-compose before. Okay, so it's going to turn the whole thing around, and that might screw up some things. Uh, let me just see real quick. But pretty much we want the pictures to be facing him, so uh, that's why we're doing this. And uh, I'm just going to go check things real quick. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, we need to go into... Uh, what's it called? We need to go into our uh, pre-comp and op uh, right click on it and press open composition. And then we select these and then if we make them 3D because we want to rotate them individually we don't want them to be rotated uh, kinda weirdly and stuff like that so uh, these will individually rotate now and just make it like that and individually rotating them just kind of allows us not to lose what we just had 
and it will just rotate them in place. So, anyways, if we go back, uh, it should have worked. Yep, and it has. So, that looks good. And now, pretty much, um, I'm missing a key from here. So, and we'll just redo it. Actually, if we just copy this, and you can't. Okay, uh, I'll come back and fix this, and I'll be back. Hey guys, back to fix the problem. Um, everything still looks good. So now we need to make the clicking real quick. Uh, I just use glow. I keep from the glow. So when you click to, I get to it. Clicks it right about there. Actually, right here. Okay, right about here. So we need to go into that individual picture here by opening up our composition and go and find that picture which it is I believe this one right here eh. it is this one so we need to add glow to it and uh, that's over here if we just type in glow in our presets and then drag that onto the picture it'll bring up our fix controls and right here it start so I'm just gonna go back to here and right about here it's pretty much we need to boost up the the glow in it at right at this point so if we just take our glow intensity drag it up and uh, drag our threshold down uh, it will make it glow and then also move up our glow radius as well something like that if uh, you want the radius to kind of burst out a little bit more uh, like I'm gonna do here that's cool and then it only needs to happen for about two to three frames and then you can turn all this down and I forgot the keyframe it. so I'll just go back Two, three, and I'm going to click keyframe, keyframe, and keyframe, and then as well, we're gonna go back two, and change our intensity back down should take it all off okay so now it should be keyframe if we go back into our holographic computer and un wants to come back here come on now okay so if we just open up this um, well I guess we'll have to see if it works it's hard to do this with the pre-compose uh, thing, but so we'll see. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, looks good, and we're heading into our 15 minutes here, so I'm just gonna go into uh, part three.